point of this video. I'm in a Stewie Griffin sound-alike contest, and I need your help. Um, there's a Stewie sound-alike contest set up by Fox, and the winner gets to be on the season premiere of Family Guy. This is a dream of mine, um, you know, it's a dream of mine to be a voice actor, and this, I think this would open up a lot of doors, so uh, I need many, many your guys' guys's help on this. So there's a link in the description uh, to my entry, uh, currently in second place. So I just need, I need a billion votes to win. Uh, I don't know when uh, voting closes, but uh, try to vote right away. I would really appreciate it. So uh, without further ado, here's my, uh, here's my entry into the Family Guy contest. I kind of throw some other characters in there too, just in case, you know, Seth's watching. He's like, oh, he's actually good at these. Uh, I'm going to put him on the show. So uh, take a watch and vote. Thank you. Sure was, Bri. If we had won, I'd have, I've had said, I've had said, I've had said, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Okay, hold on, just one second. Hello, this is Mrs. Pennyapple. Sure was, Bri. If we had won, I've had said, victory is mine. But since we lost, I'll just say, damn you all. Now that that's out of the way, hi, I'm Stuart Gilligan Britton. And I'm here to do the, uh, uh, I'm Stewie contest that's going on on the, uh, internet. So, uh, this is my Stewie. I hope you like it, and I hope, you know, I hope I win. Hey, Stewie, what are you doing in here? Having a little, uh, little, uh, show here? <laughs> With your, uh, stuffed animals? Go away, fat man. This is a I Am Stewie contest, not I Am Peter contest, okay? They, they only want the Stewie voice, they don't want more characters. So it's probably bad that, uh, Joe and Quagmire and Cleveland showed up? Hey, Stewie! You! Alright! Hey, little guy, good to see ya! I don't want to explain how I got up those stairs, but I see your little video in here and I'll, uh, you know, leave you alone, but I sure hope you win this contest! I uh, Stewie, haven't seen you in a while. Probably because I got my own show. But it got cancelled, so I'll be back next season! <laughs> uh, you probably shouldn't, uh, mention the cancellation of the Cleveland show if, uh, Seth MacFarlane is, uh, judging. Uh, probably not a good idea. Uh, he didn't get offended and, uh, not pick you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, that's, you know, probably not a good idea. So I don't, uh, get out of my room. This isn't a, I am the entire cast of Family Guy. This is, I am Stewie. That's me. Oh, so you'll probably be mad if I invited, uh, Mort Goldman, Herbert, and Swayla, and more side characters, too? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, Stewie, good to see you. I hope you win this contest. It would be very bad if you lost. Oh, no. Hey, Stewie. Hey, Stewie. I sure hope you win, too. Mm. No. No, Mr. Stewie. You're not going to win. No. No. Get out of my room, everybody, now! So, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it. I'm Brock Baker. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, my Stewie and also other characters, uh, uh, voice impressions. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'm just going to, uh, sneak, sneak away and, uh, out of, out of frame. And, uh, oh, Stewie! Oh, 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 Stewie! Oh! Hello everyone, Brock here. This is what my ugly face looks like. Now, I know I don't do videos like this ever, but more dubs are on the way. I've been traveling a lot. I've been busy. Just got back from VidCon. Met a lot of you guys there. You're all lovely people. I love you. To the point of this video, I'm in a Stewie Griffin sound-alike contest, and I need your help. Um, there's a Stewie sound-alike contest set up by Fox, and the winner gets to be on the season premiere of Family Guy. This is a dream of mine, um, you know, it's a dream of mine to be a voice actor, and this, I think this would open up a lot of doors, so uh, I, need, I, need, I need your guys', guys help on this. So there's a link in the description uh, to my entry. Uh, I'm currently in second place, so I just need, I need a billion votes to win. Uh, I don't know when uh, voting closes, but uh, try to vote right away. I would really appreciate it. So uh, without further ado, here's my, uh, here's my entry into the Family Guy contest. I kind of throw some other characters in there, too. Just in case, you know, Seth's watching. He's like, oh, he's actually good at these. Uh, I'm gonna put him on the show. So, uh, take a watch and vote. Thank you. Sure was, Bri. If we had won, I'd have, I've had said, I've had said, I've had said. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Okay, hold on. Just one second. Hello, this is Mrs. Pennyapple. Sure was, Bri. If we had won, I've had said, victory is mine. But since we lost, I'll just say, damn you all. Now that that's out of the way, hi, I'm Stuart Gilligan Griffin. And I'm here to do the, uh, uh, I am Stewie contest that's going on on the uh, internet. So, uh, this is my Stewie. I hope you like it, and I hope, you know, I hope I win. Hey, Stewie, what are you doing in here? Having a little, uh, little uh, show here? <laughs> With your uh, stuffed animals? Go away, fat man. This is a I am Stewie contest, not I am Peter contest, okay? They, they only want the Stewie voice, they don't want more characters. So, it's probably bad that uh, Joe and Quagmire and Cleveland showed up? Hey, Stewie! <laughs> 
All right. Hey, little guy, good to see ya. I don't want to explain how I got up those stairs, but I see you're doing a little video in here, and I'll, you know, leave you alone, but I sure hope you win this contest! I still haven't seen you in a while. Probably because I got my own show. But it got canceled, so I'll be back next season. <laughs> uh, you probably shouldn't, uh, mention the cancellation of the Cleveland show if, uh, Seth MacFarlane is, uh, judging. Uh, probably not a good idea. Uh, he could get offended and, uh, not pick you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, that's, you know, probably not a good idea. So I don't, uh, get out of my room. This isn't a, I am the entire cast of Family Guy. This is, I am Stewie. That's me. Oh, so you'll probably be mad if I invited, uh, Mort Goldman, Herbert, Consuela, and more side characters, too? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, Stewie, good to see you. I hope you win this contest. It would be very bad if you lost. Oh, no. Hey, Stewie. Hey, Stewie. I sure hope you win, too. No, no, Mr. Stewie, you're not going to win. No, no. Get out of my room, everybody, now! So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm Brock Baker. Uh, thank you for watching uh, my Stewie and also other characters' uh, in, uh, voice impressions. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'm just going to uh, slink, slink away and uh, out, of, out of frame. And, uh, uh... Oh, Stewie! Oh, 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 Stewie! Oh! Ah! It's like a best friend, but more. It's the one person in the world who knows you better than anyone else. It's someone who makes you a better person. But actually, they don't make you a better person, you do that yourself. Because they inspire you. The soulmate is someone who you carry with you forever. It's the one person who, who knew you and accepted you. Imagine you're a happy family living in Central Texas in a suburb of Austin, Round Rock, and one night you decide to smoke some marijuana after your two-year-old daughter's gone to bed while you watch a movie, something over 100 million Americans are estimated to do every single week. 
a good secret police neighbor smells the marijuana, calls the police, and they come with a CPS and take your two-year-old happy daughter. Never been in the hospital, never been sick, never been beaten up. You go for weekly visits with your daughter and she's dirty, she's confused, she has black eyes, bruises, mold is growing on her body and her clothing. You go to the state and say she's being abused, help her, and they laugh at you. And a month later you get the call, she's on life support, her head has been caved in. Two days later they take her off life support and she dies. Another victim of this tyrannical government that we have that is incentivizing the states to seize as many children as they can. Over a million of them a year. The Justice Department's own numbers show the horrific facts. The most dangerous place a child can be is in state custody. Little Alexandria Hill, or Alex as she was known, will never get to grow up and be part of the spelling bee at school or the swim team or softball. She'll never get to go to college and meet the man of her dreams and have her own children and grandchildren. She's dead. Another casualty of this sick society we have that has the largest prison population in the world. Every authoritarian state throughout history has been obsessed with attacking the family and seizing children from their parents. Nazi Germany, Soviet Russia, Maoist China. But they never did it on the scale that we see here in the United States. And every day I see cases in Texas alone where people's children are taken for the most petty of reasons and end up dead, raped, tortured, killed, their heads caved in. The children disappear routinely and end up overseas in snuff films and pornography. Our children are one of the favored commodities of the criminals that run our government. And the people that are in control of Williamson County, Texas, are famous for their abuse of the innocent and famous for their abuse of children that they've kidnapped from their parents. And I want to say something to the child predators in the police department in Williamson County and other areas in the United States. When we take America back, and we will, you will be tried for your crimes against humanity. You want to now charge one of the foster parents for supposedly caving this little girl's head in? You are just as guilty knowing how hellish those facilities and those homes are where they warehouse kids for money. You know statistically there are more pedophiles and more abusers who literally torture those children within inches of their life and that the state covers it up because it's part of a sick racket. And you need to know that it's all on your head, just like all the other cases in Williamson County where they've known people were innocent and known who killed people's wives and children and done nothing to prosecute the real criminals and gone after innocent people. You will be charged for that crime as well. And those charges are now forthcoming. And you will be brought to justice in Williamson County and everywhere else for the crimes you've committed. Your tyranny can go on for a long time, but sooner or later, God is gonna cut you down. You shouldn't fear Alex Jones. You shouldn't even fear the American people. You should fear God because God is real and God is the law. You will be held in judgment for what you've done. All of you, the judges, the police, you are all accomplices in aiding and abetting the torturous death of children in Williamson County and across the United States and places like North Korea where they take families' children as well for collectivization into the state. For those of you who have only been passively involved in the industry that is the abuse of children at the hands of the state in this country. There's still time for you to admit the facts and go public and speak out against this evil and turn the tide. I will forgive you. The parents of the abused and dead children will forgive you. And most importantly, the creator of the universe will forgive you. And yes, even little Alexandria Hill, who is beyond your wicked grasp, will forgive you as well. Join humanity and let us stop the modern slave trade in children that is taking place in this country. And finally, all of you out there watching, there are children being kidnapped for the pettiest of reasons in your town and in your city. Become an advocate for those families. Volunteer to expose the incredible miscarriage of justice where a Stasi spy neighbor